looks like some haze in some parts of the sky. A lot of animals hiding again today because of the sun, I guess. And with that in mind, what's going on today? Usually during the hot weather, there would be things like forest fires, unfortunately. But I guess in terms of fire, how about reading this, where apparently somebody tried to, I guess, do some testing in terms of a manned drone, if that's what you want to say anyways. And it apparently caught on fire, it's kind of crazy. I guess this person posted it in his LinkedIn account, just showing what the faults were per se, and hopefully people learn from it. But yeah, that's kind of crazy to see. Like he writes here, I recently conducted a manned tethered test of regenerative braking in an EVTOL aircraft. And as he says, my aim here is sharing the learning experience. Hopefully to anyone else using COTS parts for electric aircraft to do it without any more loss of life, which sadly has happened this year. This is the same ESC as the Jetson 1. I remember reading about that actually, things like the Jetson 1, so it makes me wonder if this is something to be concerned over. It says the ESC exploded while breaking the motor. Had this happened while flying, it would have been the end for me most likely. That's why it was tethered to the ground. This failure was not thermal runaway, but an entirely different risk that it appears regulators are completely unaware of. Powertrain ESR and FET reliability under extreme loading scenarios. The risk profile of this component failure increases exponentially with the runtime, payload loading, and real world control input. Unloaded testing is basically meaningless. In terms of verifying this, you have to take it to its limits. Just as we need aviation grade batteries, we need aviation grade transistors. I would have thought they would have tested this stuff like crazy in all scenarios and all that because it's one of those things where it sounds good on paper but there's so many different circumstances that could in a sense break something per se. He says, I believe a certification standard in which powertrain transistors are independently tested, verified and certified for use in electric aircraft would enable innovation and enhance safety. Not the board assembly or final aircraft part certification, but the components in the part itself. I doubt the FAA or EASA will ever have the resources to certify an FET. Transistor QC is a whole different ballgame to aircraft certification. And he kind of ends off saying here, there have now been multiple death flights testing electric aircraft. Please everyone, prove your system at full loading, tethered to the ground first. I am lucky just to have a few burn scars and smoke inhalation. Others haven't been so lucky and made the ultimate sacrifice in hope of progressing humanity towards sustainable aviation. And he says, please be safe, everyone. Like I definitely was extremely lucky just based on the video. And it makes you wonder if they will actually try to be more thorough and strict in terms of regulating stuff like this. It's like what I said before, I don't know, people fear things like a recreational drone all the time. I even said, if you wanna use this stuff, for example, carrying passengers and all that, then be strict, regulate them like crazy because in those situations like this, imagine that if someone was actually flying in the air and it blew up and all that. Now that is extremely dangerous versus someone flying literally a quote toy just around a tree or something like that and treating it as if it is the exact same thing. And I read this today which was kind of interesting. It dealt with Jack Ma who is a person who founded Alibaba and in recent times he was very vocal i guess about how things like the government is run in china and i guess you could assume they didn't like it and he kind of disappeared per se stopped i guess doing a lot of these types of speeches and all that so you have to wonder was he just taking a vacation or the government in a sense silenced him so now today you read this it says jack ma to give up control of fintech giant ant group China's billionaire tech boss Jack Ma plans to cede control of Ant Group, the fintech powerhouse closely affiliated with Alibaba, the e-commerce giant he founded, the Wall Street Journal reported on Thursday. If realized, the move will mark another important turn in Ant's restructuring and power shuffling since China called off its $35 billion initial public offering nearly two years ago. Ant Group could not be immediately reached for comment. In November 2020, Chinese authorities halted Ant's IPO, which at the time would have been the world's largest public listing and subsequently ordered Ant to undergo a rectification process that was subject to firm the same financial regulations that oversee traditional banks. Up until that point, Ant, like many other Chinese internet firms, had been growing at a breakneck speed in a relatively lenient regulatory environment. The company bred several multi-billion fintech businesses, including Alipay, 
which dominates China's mobile payment market in a duopoly shared with Tencent's WeChat Pay. So who knows what's going on, but I guess you can't deny the coincidence there where when a person started to speak out about the stuff then all of a sudden I guess they're exiting certain businesses and all that ultimately. Maybe it's related, maybe it's not, but it's kind of interesting to see what's going on here, huh? Oh, they noticed me so far away. Identify that bird. See you guys later.